Now we're going to look at loading settings into our Gerbil firmware for our machine. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of math here. I explained all the math in the last video, so I'm going to sort of uh, gloss over it a little bit in this video, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this machine to use a 22 GT2 sprocket or gear, whatever you want to call it. This this sprocket here has 20 teeth that are two millimeters apart. So a full revolution of this would move a belt 40 millimeters, right? 20 teeth times two millimeters between the teeth is 40 millimeters, okay? I'm gonna pull my flag off here. I'll actually reuse the flag in a second. But I'm gonna install this sprocket on here now, my NEMA 17 has a D shaft, which means part of that shaft is flat, okay? The grub screw on here, that little black screw, I want to get that first one that I tighten onto that shaft here, okay? All right. And the second screw just tightened on. Mine's actually missing that second grub screw, so no big deal. And I'm still going to put a flag on it just for theatrical purposes. All right. So it's got the, the gear on here. Now we need to do some math. So right now with my micro-stepping, it takes me 3,200 pulses to rotate this thing once, right? And one rotation is 40 millimeters of movement. So 3,200 pulses to rotate this thing fully divided by 40 millimeters per revolution equals 80 pulses per millimeter. Okay. So let's go inside laser gerbil and set that up. So what I'm going to do here, I guess I'll move this here and click this. Okay. I'm currently connected to my, uh, to my controller here. Okay, what I'm going to do here is in the console, I'm going to type in money, money, money sign, money sign. It's to access registers here. Okay, I hit enter and a whole bunch of info came up. The important info here is the 100s. Okay, so X axis travel resolution. That's how many steps per millimeter. So what we want to do here is change that, okay? So right now it says 100 equals 250. That's not accurate for our machine with this sprocket and these micro-stepping. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in money sign or register 100 equals 80. I'm going to spell 80 right. There we go. All right, so I just got this green check mark when I put this in. That means it took that. Now you notice it didn't change here, okay? This isn't a constantly updating uh, console here. This is a serial log. So that means that when we asked it what it was, it was 250 last time we asked it. Now that it's changed, we have to re-ask it what it's at, right? So even though it doesn't change here, we know it actually took because it's got that check mark there. So I'm gonna type in money, money again. And there it is, 100 equals 80, right? So that's perfect. So that means we set it up right. So let's give this a test here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it, I'll tell it to return to home, wherever it thinks home is, right? And boy, is that slow. <laughs> we'll speed that up too. Okay, I see the little purple, the purple, uh, pointer <laughs> moving back to zero okay if our calculations are correct if we move it 40 millimeters it's going to do an entire rev revolution right because you know one revolution is 40 millimeters so if we tell it to move 40 millimeters this flag here this blue flag will go back to that point okay let's give that a try so i'm going to type in g0x40 which means move to 40 millimeters as fast as you can. All 
There we go. Okay, we know we're set right because we did a full revolution is 40 millimeters. Perfect. Okay. So here's the next bit of math here. Are we on the next bit of math? I'm going to make sure. So we're at 110 now. Maximum rate. Yes, we are on the next bit of math. The maximum pulse rate of Arduino running Gerbil is 30,000. Okay, so it can send 30,000 pulses a second to these separate drivers. Sounds like a lot. It is a lot, right? Especially considering it's an 8-bit microchip. So, with 30,000 pulses per second, we need to figure out the maximum speed this thing can turn at. So, uh, the resolution or the, the rate is in millimeters a minute, which is a little difficult because we're pulses per second. Oh, doesn't even show it here. That is per minute. But the rate is millimeters per minute, right? So we need to figure out how fast Arduino can pulse per minute. So we know how fast it can pulse per second, right? Which is 30,000. 30,000 pulses per second times 60. That's how fast it can pulse per minute here. Okay. Camera's focusing weird. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Whatever. Okay, we're still working on math here. There we go. Okay, so it can do 1,800,000 pulses per minute. Okay, all we have to do now is divide how many pulses it takes to rotate or how many pulses it takes to go a millimeter. Okay, so this divided by 80 equals 22,500. That is the maximum speed you can go. Okay, so doesn't mean your machine can necessarily go that fast. That's the maximum speed that the Arduino can tell this thing to go. Now, you might have a lot of weight to move. You might have, like, a heavy amount. I guess that's still weight. You might have, like, stubborn mechanical motion. I'm not sure. <laughs> but the Arduino can make this thing move at this speed, at 22,500 millimeters a minute, right? So basically 22 meters a minute, 22 and a half full meters a minute, it can move that belt. So what we do here with this information is we can set it and try it out, right? I know mine will because I don't have a load on it. But let's see, that is register 110, so Money sign 110 equals 22,500. So 22,500. Okay. And now, as I tell it to move to the right, I guess I'll have it move 200 millimeters. Oh, I told it to move at 500 speed. My bad. Okay, do a reset. Unlock this. Set zero. Bring this all the way up to 22,500. Okay. Now I'm going to move this. And it's still speeding up. Oh, it didn't even get to full speed. So we're going to look at the next parameter, and that is our acceleration. So I'm going to type in money, money. And here's our settings again 120 is our x axis acceleration. So. There's, yeah, how do I explain this one? This one, uh, try things. <laughs> That's the best best advice I can give you is try things. And once you find something that works, come back a little bit. So right now, I'm going to set my acceleration here. Let's see, 120 equals 3,200. Okay. Now, I can get away with this on my x-axis, typically, with just a single laser head. If I had a dual laser head, I'd probably be only be around like 1,200 or so for acceleration. If you have one of the little hobby CNC mills, you're going to be want to be around like 450, 650, somewhere around there with acceleration. But I just set that to 3,200. So let's watch this thing spin. Right? A lot faster. So 
So lots of acceleration there. It gets up to speed and moves where it needs to fast. Now, if I were to hold this here, it might not move because you lose a little bit of torque when you up your acceleration. Okay, it can't, you don't lose torque. You need more torque <laughs> if you want to accelerate. And so you don't lose torque, you're just using more of it and it might not have enough torque. So I'm going to hold this as tight as I can here. There it goes. I feel it sort of whining at me as I hold this. You're not going to hurt anything by stalling out a stepper motor. All right. Oh. So it's still got a bit of torque, but not so much that I can't hold it and stop it. Anyways, you want to do that for your x-axis and your y-axis. So if you have a 20 tooth, you're at 80 steps per millimeter. That's your resolution, right? Your register 100, register 101. If you have a 16 tooth, you're at 100 steps per resolution. A revolu 100 steps of resolution, 100 steps per millimeter. There we go. Got to get it the right wording. So 20 tooth is 80 steps per millimeter. 16 tooth is 100 steps per millimeter. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have one of the lead screws, one of the eight millimeter lead screws, that's going to be 400 steps per per millimeter, right? A lot more steps, a lot more res uh, resolution. Anyways, thanks for watching this. We're going to look at end stops in the next video. Thanks for watching.